there and welcome over here today. I'm so excited to be bringing a new crock pot video to you just because I love using my crock pot. I love simple dump and go recipes. So I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different simple dump and go recipes today. I also included one vegetarian meal. I got some requests from my previous video to do a vegetarian meal, so I did include a vegetarian meal. I hope you guys all enjoy these meals, and if you are new here, I'd love to have you, so go ahead and subscribe down below the video, but let's go get cooking. To get us started off, I wanted to share this really easy, delicious French dip sandwich recipe with you. I really love how simple this recipe is. I could go on and on about it all day. Anyways, to two cups of water, I added one packet of this au jus gravy mix and I whisked everything together. Over here to my crock pot, I just added in our three pound chuck roast. You could add anywhere between about a two and a half pound chuck roast to four pound chuck roast and this recipe will still turn out great. Then I just added the mixture we just made up right on top along with a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then for our seasonings, I added in garlic powder, onion powder, and then some thyme. I added around a half a teaspoon of each of these seasonings. These seasonings are gonna add great flavor. You just wait and see. And then the last thing I added is two cups of some beef broth. I just plop the lid right on top and let this cook on low for about eight hours. Here we are about eight hours later and I was actually gone all day when this was cooking and I came home right when it was cooked and my house was smelling phenomenal. Anyways, I just removed our roast to this cookie tray. This is a smaller size cookie tray and I'm just going to be shredding it and removing all of the unwanted fat. This next part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to be making these into sandwiches. So I just have my French sandwich rolls right here. You could use any type of bread you want though. I just opened it up and I'm going to be adding some of this beef right on top. You could also top this with bell peppers that you sauteed or onions. I've tried that and that's delicious, but I didn't have much time on that night. So I just topped mine with provolone cheese and stuck it under my broiler in the oven for a couple minutes. And here it is on my plate. This really did come out so, so delicious. It was really rich in flavor. I served it with some steamed broccoli along the side just to have a little veggie in there. Even my daughter Brinley, she really enjoyed this meal. Since it is starting to get pretty cold outside, I do want to show you this really simple chili recipe. So to my saucepan, I added a tablespoon of olive oil and I let that olive oil get hot. And then I added one diced up onion along with one stick of celery that I chopped up. And then I kind of stirred this all together. And next I'm going to be adding in one pound of some lean ground beef. You could also be adding in a bell pepper or two at this point if you like bell peppers. Unfortunately, I didn't have any bell peppers on hand so I just opted out of that. But like I said, go ahead and add your bell pepper in. It will add great flavor. So I just cooked these together until that ground beef was nice and cooked through and now I'm just adding a tablespoon of some chili powder and I'm going to stir this all together just so everything is coated in that chili powder. Moving over to my crock pot, I just dumped that mixture right in. Now it's ready to go. And now we're going to be adding the rest of our ingredients, which is one can of kidney beans. I did drain and rinse these kidney beans. And then one can of mixed chili beans. You're not gonna wanna drain or rinse these chili beans. These are also about 15 ounce cans, if you were wondering. The chili beans are gonna add a lot of flavor. And now I'm adding in two 14 and a half ounce cans of some diced tomatoes. I do prefer the petite diced tomatoes but I didn't have any so I just added the normal diced tomatoes and then I added one eight ounce can of tomato sauce and then I added two tablespoons of chili powder two tablespoons of cumin one tablespoon of onion powder one tablespoon of brown sugar a half a tablespoon of garlic powder and a half a tablespoon of some salt yes that is a lot of seasonings but you don't want a bland chili you want it to have a lot of flavor so we just stirred this all together. I just plopped the lid right on top of this and I cooked mine on low for about four hours. Mm -hmm. 
Here is my chili in the bowl. This came out really good. I just topped mine with some chips and some sour cream and cheese just because those are the toppings I had on hand. But this was a great chili recipe and it's making me excited for Halloween and all the holidays to come. Now we're going to be making a tomato basil chicken pasta dish and this one's really super good as well. So to my crock pot I'm adding one 14 ounce can of some diced tomatoes and then you're going to be wanting to add one cup of tomato pasta sauce. I was skeptical because I don't love adding pasta sauce to recipes like this but this one really came out good so it's worth doing. Then I added three fourths cup of some heavy cream along with one tablespoon of cornstarch and you're just going to whisk this together because you want that cornstarch to get incorporated with the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm just going to be adding about three cloves of garlic. The garlic's going to add a lot of flavor to this. I really do love adding garlic whenever I can just because like I said it adds quite a bit of some flavor. So after I added that in I'm just going to season it with a little bit of some salt and pepper and then you're going to add some more seasoning which is just some basil. You're going to add a half a teaspoon of dried basil along with a half a teaspoon of some Italian seasoning. Then you're just going to be adding your chicken in there and you're going to be cooking this on low for about three to five hours or until your meat thermometer reaches 165 degrees for the chicken. When our crock pot meal was almost done cooking, I wanted to cook up some pasta for the side. So I just cooked up about half a pound of some pasta. And now our crock pot meal is completely cooked and I'm just going to remove the chicken and cut it up on a separate cutting board. You could definitely just shred the chicken, but I was kind of feeling more like chicken cut like this on that night. So this is what I did. Here is my bowl of pasta. This one really did also come out delicious. I just served mine with some Parmesan cheese on top because who doesn't love some extra Parmesan cheese on their food? But like I said, this one was a total hit. Even my daughter enjoyed it. Now we're going to be making our meatless meal, which is minestrone soup. And minestrone soup actually has to be one of my favorite soups of all time. I just love how it's packed full of veggies, but to my crock pot, I added six and a half cups of some veggie broth, along with our three sticks of celery and two carrots that I chopped up into small pieces. And now I'm going to be adding our two 14 and a half ounce cans of diced tomatoes. And then I also chopped up one onion into smaller pieces that I'm adding in right now. Now we're going to be adding in our garlic. This is just about four cloves of garlic and we're gonna to begin to add in our seasonings. This is a lot of seasonings, but this soup's gonna have a lot of flavor. I just added in two teaspoons of basil, one teaspoon of oregano, three fourths teaspoon of some rosemary, a half a teaspoon of thyme, and a little bit of some salt and pepper to taste, just depending on how much you want. Then I just stirred this all together and then I plopped the lid on and cooked this on low for about seven to eight hours. Here we are about seven hours later and I'm just going to be adding in the remainder of our ingredients. So here I am just adding in one cup of frozen green beans along with our one and a fourth cup of Delaney pasta noodles. Then you're going to be adding in your one diced up zucchini. My zucchini was frozen just because I froze it earlier in the week, but you could add in a fresh zucchini. Now I'm adding in my can of drained and rinsed great northern beans along with my kidney beans and then my two cups of some fresh spinach and then I gave this a really good stir and then I plopped the lid back on top and cooked this for an additional 30 minutes or until that pasta was completely cooked. 
Here is the finished product. This is my bowl of soup. I just topped mine with some Parmesan cheese. This would go great with some fresh baked bread or grilled cheese sandwiches, anything like that. But I was in a rush on that night, so I just served this as it was. Now I'm just going to be making some Southwest chicken tacos. So to begin in my crock pot, I'm just adding one cup of some frozen corn along with one diced up white onion. Next, I'm just adding one can of Rotel and a third a cup of some salsa verde. If you don't wanna add that, you could just add in one 16 ounce jar of salsa and that will work just fine. I've done it both ways and it's just delicious. Now I'm just adding one tablespoon of taco seasoning one can of drained and rinsed black beans and about a half a teaspoon of some ranch seasoning. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna add in your chicken. I'm using one pound of chicken all together. And then you're gonna to wanna to kinda of stir this all together. As you can see, I struggled a little bit, so stir it before you add in your chicken. But anyways, I just cooked this on low for about five to six hours or until the chicken reached 165 degrees. Our dinner is now officially cooked, so I'm going to begin to shred it up with my little shredder gadget right here. You could shred your chicken in the crock pot like I did, or you could take it out and shred it in a separate bowl, just whatever you prefer, but I just didn't want to add more dishes on that night, so I just shredded it in my crock pot. But now it is ready to serve. You could serve it as burritos, burrito bowls, anything. I just chose to serve mine. At, on some hard shell taco shells, but this turned out great. I put some cheese on top, cherry tomatoes, and some parsley to make it look nice. This had some great flavor. And that is a wrap of all of these crock pot meals. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and got some crock pot inspiration for this coming week. As always, if you are new here, I'd love to have you, so go ahead and subscribe down below the video, but I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.